Welcome to the pre-match pint with London Pride. I'm back at one of my favourite match day boozers, the one over the A in Kew Bridge. And today is our Christmas party with a little sprinkling of Crystal Palace in there as well. And in this Christmas nativity, I'm joined by the three wise men, Brentford women's gaffer, Carly Osborne, the ambassador, Marcus Gale, and our superstar Irish centre-half, Nathan Collins. Thanks for joining me, guys. Merry Christmas all. Cheers. Cheers. On, on, Nathan, the, of course, on the water, water. yeah. Very, very well Cheers, behaved. Others. Unlucky Nathan, but always drink responsibly, everyone. Thanks for getting involved with the Christmas jumpers as well. I have no choice. I think I've got the best. Worst. Yeah, you got Worst. the Cardi. I like it. I like the Cardi. Come for the Cardi. Who's excited for Christmas? <laughs> Gee, no one has ever <laughs> Christmas. No, I, I am a little what? bit. I am. I mean, obviously. It's, I reckon it's, you're a proper Scrooge, aren't you? No, I'm not. I'm not to be fair. Like I love, I love like buying presents for everyone. Like I enjoy, I enjoy but that. Are you trying to be like the good? Like, no, oh, I'm such a nice guy. Doing, I was like, doing something like a bit stressful buying presents. A bit stressful. It is, yeah. yeah, fairly stressful. Prefer yeah. getting them. I have, and it doesn't feel like Christmas yet to me. No. Nah. Yeah, I need. I think I need my little brother over. Who like he brings a bit of like that <laughs> Christmas spirit, you know. And I'll yeah. have him over, and then it'll feel a bit better. Like. Is that? The deal this year, family yeah, coming over. Yeah, they always come out every year. They come over from Ireland and spend it with me and my in my place. But yeah, when he comes over, it's just completely different. The whole vibe just changes, class. Have you got Christmas Day off this year? We do. Yeah, Oof. this year. Thomas has give you Christmas this Day year. off. We put in brackets no travelling. So. All right, <laughs> <laughs> everyone staying local. So everyone's getting the family yeah, coming to them. Everyone's coming over. What was it like? Did you boys get Christmas Day off? Not in my time, no. No. Normally trained first thing in the morning. There was a period of time where. At Brentford, we had to travel on Christmas Day to go up north, which was tough when I look back on it. But um, yeah, it was just part of what we had to do to prepare yeah. for the game. Cooking, Nath? Uh, me and my mum will. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. So I have to do a little bit before she comes over just to get it all prepped. And then she does the end product. Like. She's, yeah. She's proper. Yeah, yeah. I genuinely, yeah. What, what, what's your area? Whatever she needs. Like, you know, just yeah. we do that. Yeah, I'll do it. No problem. I'll Love it. Yeah. Anything you want for Christmas? I asked for golf clubs. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Chances? Very unlikely. <laughs> <laughs> Might have to go get them myself. Maybe we'll see, uh, all the boys can chip in maybe. Yeah. See that as nice. a chip in joke as well. No one's got that. Jesus, what's the point this week? <laughs> right, um, recently at the Robert Ryan Performance Centre, we had the guys from A League of Their Own, Jill Scott, Mo Gilligan, Jamie Redknapp and Micah Richards down. They were cooking up something special. They were split into two teams and they had to cook a Christmas dish. The staff and players had to pick their favourite and then the winner was picked that way. Um, it went out this week on Sky One. Um, we also, while the guys were there, asked them for some Christmas Brentford squad related questions. So we're going to play them now for you. And you guys are going to have to guess who they said, starting with Lioness legend Jill Scott. Who out of the Brentford squad would you least trust to make you and your family Christmas dinner? Who do you think Jill said? that she would least like to make Christmas dinner. We know mm. now you're a, a good cook. I've just kicked There's the There's a few over. names in there, isn't that the problem in there? There's a few lads <laughs> that wouldn't let near them. Go on, name. See, Rico Henry's up there. Aaron Hickey. They're, they're on my top of my list right now. What about KLP? You know, he says he does cooking at home, so I don't mind it. Is there proof? Has you ever, have you ever cooked for you? Any of the boys cook for you? <laughs> 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 Not no. a chance. Um, right, what are you going to say? Aaron Hickey. Aaron Hickey? Yeah. Who are you guys going for? I think she might have gone for Brian and Buemo. Brian and Buemo. <laughs> 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 Mark was wrong time to take this week. Um, I'm going KLP. You're going KLP, yeah. right. Well, let's see who Jill Scott said. So I think Ben Mee would be pretty good because he's got family and I think he'd be trusted in the kitchen. On the other hand, KLP, no yeah. way. <laughs> yeah, you were right, Mark. <laughs> KLP. <laughs> but you're, you're putting the record straight out of order. Keane's actually got a bit. It's, it's all he says, I've never seen it, yeah. but he's, he That's said why. he has. There's a feature in that, I think. Yeah. Keen <laughs> cooking you dinner, basically. <laughs> <laughs> no, I actually don't yeah. want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, right, next up, Big Meeks, Micah Richards. Let's go. Who out of the Brentford squad would throw the best Christmas party? Oof. Have you had yours? We had one, yeah. Little one. Little uh, one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we won't talk about no, it, though. I don't um, want to get you in any buffer. Who would be good? I think uh, Big Ive. Yeah, I would, Ivan. Yeah. Yeah, I would, I would say, I would say Ivan, Ivan as well. Hands yeah. down, Ivan. I think. <laughs> yeah. 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 Before we find out, what were Christmas parties like back in the day? These were very tame. Yeah, very. This year. Very. Um, 
bit wilder. <laughs> I've had some wild ones to be fair. <laughs> I have. I Was have. it always fancy dress? On a Sunday, yeah. Sunday, what do you mean on Sunday? How long did it go on for? Saturday night, yeah. Two day Christmas, yeah. Saturday, Sunday. Or Satunde, as we call it. It just rolls over into the next day. So, yeah. So you had fancy dress, Marcus? Yeah. yeah, we had fancy dress. What, what club threw the best Christmas party? Wimbledon, yeah. Wimbledon did the best... Yeah, we're crazy gang. I don't even want to know. Right. Yeah, don't want to go there. Right, let's see who Micah said he thought would throw the best Christmas party in this one. I've got to go Ivan Tony. Back in the days, people said Ivan. Is it Ivan or Ivan? Because I know Ivan's. I don't know Ivan. Ivan sounds like he's trying to be all fancy, but I'm going to say Tony anyway. Not Ben Me because he's boring. And I can say that, I can say that because he used to play with him at Man City and he left me in the lurch. So yes, Ivan and not Ben Me. Wow. I mean, took, took a while to get there, didn't it? The <laughs> yeah, he loves a waffle. That's harsh on Ben, isn't it? Yeah. He's a bit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I can see him being a bit of an undercover one, to be fair, organising the parties and that. Ben, yeah. Yeah. I'll well, yeah. say yes or no, I won't. <laughs> <laughs> You're not going to say anything on that one. Last up. We've got Jamie Redknapp. Who out of the Brentford squad would you most like to spend Christmas Day with? <laughs> Mate, they're your teammates, you know, like yeah. you don't want to spend it with any of them. <laughs> well, I spend every day with them. <laughs> True. Only Christmas with them as well. I don't know. That's a tough one. Boys? So well, Nathan thinks that who he I, actually I'm, might like I'm in the squad. I'm going to go Christian Norgard. I just think he'll put on the... You know, I mean, yeah. They don't celebrate... Mature. The Danes don't celebrate on the 25th, though, so you're doing it a day early. Ooh, yeah. Even better. Then you can do that with your family on the 25th. Double, I can get a good one, one and a bad one. <laughs> Charlie? Uh, I'm going to go Nath, to be fair. The way he was describing yeah. his earlier, the family, family event, food, I think it sounds food, like man. it could be a good place to be. You're not lucky, sir. No, I might not be, but I'll be biting myself. I hear him knocking me down. Nathan, are you going to say anyone? I don't know. I actually don't want to. So all of them then to be nice? Yeah, that'd be good. Team, no, team dinner would be nice. Yeah. Like just in the, in the training ground at F. Players, staff, everyone in there, a bit of, you know, a bit of music, be a good crack, I think, but yeah, but with my family, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see who Jamie said then. I'm thinking like Christmas Day, I want my food on the table, I want everything done really with good energy. I have to go for Rico Henry, that guy doesn't stop. You can imagine him making the dinner, running, going back and getting everything else, getting the drinks in for everyone, up, down, non-stop. And then have a few drinks after with Big Thomas Frank. What a great Christmas that would be. To be fair, didn't think about Thomas. I'd, I reckon yeah, Tom, yeah. Thomas would be a, home, a wholesome Christmas. But like you say, Christmas Eve, that's the problem. <laughs> Lads, I'm really sorry. I hope you don't mind. I'm going to take Nathan away because we've got some fan questions for him, if that's all right. Is that all right with you, Nathan? No problem. All right, let's go. <laughs> right, Nathan, the Brentford fans have been sending in some questions for you. Yeah. I know you love these bits in yeah. your Q&As. <laughs> They're hard, bro. They're actually tough, like. They are. Starting off, Emil Lundsberg wants to know, what would you like to accomplish at Brentford? You can obviously have the obvious one and what? Go, quali win the Premier League, go qualify Champions League, but listen, I, if, I don't see the club being far away from that if they keep progressing the way they are. But for me, right now, it's just, just play as much football as I can. I really enjoy my football here. Play as much football, you know, achieve as much as we can and play against the top teams and try winning against the top teams and prove ourselves, really. It's a proper educated <laughs> media answer there. Love <laughs> that, mate. Good luck with the next one, though, from Marty Fergal. Can't use your media training for this. Who would win a dance-off in the squad? Someone I see dance a lot is Josh De Silva. No, I've heard this. He likes a dance, he does. Yeah. yeah, he does like a dance. A bit dodgy music, but he likes to dance to us. <laughs> what kind of music? I don't even know the name, that's, that's, <laughs> the, that's the fact I struggle with. What do you like on the dance floor? Uh, like team nights out, are you on the dance floor? A little two step, you yeah. know, I can't go wrong. <laughs> Anyone awful? Uh, <laughs> ben me. <laughs> <laughs> He's up there, isn't he? Doesn't do a two step. <laughs> he throws his arms around the beach. <laughs> 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 All right, killed him there, moving on. Try and maybe save yourself here. Yeah. C. Kotberg, 34. Who's the best performer in training? Christian Norgard. Yeah? yeah, he's on it. Yeah, uh, yeah, skipper. You know what I mean? He's always on it. What's he like it. as a skipper? Oh, he's class. Oh, God. He has a good balance of being a good teammate, having that banter, but then still making sure everyone's switched on and on it. Like so, I really like. He's really good. Yeah, really enjoy him as a skipper. Sammy Morley, best piece of advice you'd give your thirteen-year-old self? It was only a few years ago. <laughs> Same. Uh, <laughs> uh, I think just enjoy football. Yeah, just enjoy it as much as you can. 
it's all you can do. Listen, football's a tough game, it becomes stressful sometimes, but if you don't enjoy it, then there's no point in playing it, you know what I mean? Jacko style, what's your go-to meal deal? Go-to meal deal? Tesco meal deal? Could be Sainsbury's. It could be more of, a, more of a Tesco guy. I do, I do like the sweet chili chicken wraps. You know, lemon with <laughs> yeah, yeah. the ones. Yeah, yeah. I have them. Side. Um, I'd love in. Have you ever heard of pack of tato? Yes, I went to Dublin last yeah. year. But I see. Is this bad? I prefer the salt and vinegars to the cheese and onion. No, once they're right. tato, it's fine. The tato, they're, <laughs> they're they're dominant, really. They're yeah, pack of tato and then maybe a, a Coke Zero. If I'm going for it, like. <laughs> oh, we're going crazy. We'll have a Coke Zero. Um, right, Mad 1 OX Navy, Navi, techiest player at Brentford. I think Wissa's up there. Yeah? Yeah, he'll throw stuff in. I'll be. Jeez, didn't see that coming, like, you know what I really? mean? That, not, no, that's not disrespectful to Wissa, but I didn't. No, he does have a bit in him. Keno obviously has a bit. Uh, As you know. Yeah. Oh, jeez. That one. <laughs> Lucky. Uh, who else is there? Matty. Matty, I see. Yeah. yeah, nice little nutmeg, a little little yeah. scoop. Yeah, they probably top, top, uh, top three for me, yeah. But I don't know, most underrated Brentford player. Most underrated Brentford player. And that's not you saying, do you know what I mean? It, yeah. It's just like, who do you think maybe doesn't get the plaudits they deserve a bit? Norgard. I yeah. Think, yeah, I think he does a lot. Do you think, yeah. like, outside of the Brentford Oh, massively players, outside, you know I mean? yeah. Massive. Did you know how good he was till you got here? I heard he was. <clears throat> I've never seen him fully play. I think he was injured a bit last season, wasn't he? So I didn't catch him. But then when I come here, I didn't know how good he was. And it's not even just football and wise, you know, he's, everything about him goes under the radar. You obviously have like Ethan, Ethan Pinnock, outside massively underrated, and he? he doesn't get talk about, but he's class. Yeah, they, yeah I think Norgaz might have one for Do you think, weirdly, like, pretty much the whole squad's under Yeah, the outside, exactly. You know what I, mean? but I think in a way, Person, someone like me, I prefer that, you know, just go under the radar, do your business, you know, keep tipping away and just yeah. let no one bother, you know, we're, we're our own team, you know, we just, we play, play for each other, so it's, it's kind of nice in a way. Who's the best dressed at Brentford? Best dressed? Mate, it's one match. Yeah, Zanka. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> He pulls up the stuff, stuff, and I'm just like, if I wore that, oh my God, <laughs> <laughs> I just look a shambles, but it's anything, anything he wears just looks good on him, like, Fair play, like, Mate, you just like have to hold color, your hands up, you know. The what colours, I mean? Matt, like everything's just done. Oh, yeah, I never even think of some of the things, like, and he yeah. just he pulls it off. I interviewed him the other day, he had a reversible jacket, and he was like, Which way round do you want it? I was like, Don't ask me. Both, uh, like, both ways. Half and half. Unreal. Yeah, do the first half in this, second half will go round. Nah, he's classy. Mate, fair. Unreal. Right, it's not here, but who's the worst? Oh, who's the worst? Who's the worst? I don't think I should say. No, nah, it's no. Nah, I'm not gonna say. It's not a nice thing to say. It'd be funny, but I can't say. Can I? <laughs> it's ben I'll me tell you. <laughs> Benmi has that. He has that dad clothing. You know what I mean? It's not bad. Don't get me wrong. Like you know, what he wears is just, like smart. You know, he looks smart. <laughs> bad. Nah, there's no one bad to you. Everyone's right. solid enough. Some okay. rascal stuff sometimes, but yeah. Jeez. You said Benmi, right? Come no. On, move <laughs> like. You said it first. No. <laughs> Go on, tell us Benmi. <laughs> That's what you said. <laughs> <laughs> right, um, what would you do if you weren't a footballer? I'd have to be involved in sports somehow, yeah. but I genuinely don't know. Right. Don't have a clue. Joshua Reyna, what's your favourite song to to listen to before a big game? Um, don't really have one. Okay. Don't have one, just <laughs> whoever the DJ on the time in the dressing room has on. Who is the DJ? It used to be Ivan, didn't it? It's Tom Perryman. The, is it? Yeah, he plays one, he hey, plays in Meek Mill. Um, Oh, what is it? I don't know the name. A Meek Mill one. It's, class. it's good though. It gets me up to be fair. Yeah, yeah. I'm ready to go. Like, ready, <laughs> ready, to, ready for my head through a wall from. <laughs> no, it's a good one too. Meek Mill, uh, I don't know the name of we'll it. We'll ask Tom. Yeah, to Tom, will on it. He'll be on it. We'll Tom, Tom will be on it. Nathan, who in the squad could hold their own in the GAA? Before we start, do you want to tell mm. some people might not know what GAA yeah. is? Obviously, Gaelic, Gaelic. Gaelic games, football, yeah. Who could? Ethan probably would. Ethan, he's athletic as anything, that's the main thing. He, he looks like he could leap as well, so... Um, the keepers, I think keepers get away with just pure because of hands. I wouldn't say they're very good, but like, they'll, they'll get away with it, like, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's, it's a tough game, jeez. Yeah. yeah, it's a tough game. You have to, be, you have to play as, as you grow up. If you try to go into it now, you've no chance. Like. Do you mean like I couldn't just start it? No, you'd be able to, but like... It's so quick and it's so hard and you have to be so fit, like, it, it's, it's so much tougher than it looks. Yeah, it'll be alright. <laughs> it'll be fun, don't worry. Um, right, Charlie Wiltshire, what made you join Brentford other than uh, over the other options you had or maybe just in general, what made you Just as Brentford? soon as I talked to the gaffer and the staff, 
the backroom staff really. We had a meeting and the way they spoke about me, the way they spoke to me, I just seen the project and they wanted to improve me as a player and it, it, I was just really attracted and, I, and to be fair, as soon as I heard that, I had my main mind made up, so yeah, it was, it was once I spoke to the gaffer, he really, he really, he sold it to me. And finally, little Phil ninety seven wants to know who's got the best banter at the club. Best banter, big Chris Ajir loves a bit of jokes. He's always there. Yeah, he yeah. could, he could be talking with someone. He just creep up out an hour, and it's, there he is. Like you know what I mean? <laughs> he's just always involved somehow. What a man. Um, <laughs> yeah, he's he is a good banter. I enjoy it. He, he makes me Charlie good. Ch yeah, Chaza, Chaza's funny. Yeah, it's a good. Nah, it's fair. It's a good dressing room for it. Like. Lovely. Yeah, it's a good little dressing room. Thanks for that and thanks you lot for sending in your questions. We're going to pick our favourite one and stick it in the comments section below and you'll be winning a Kate crate of London pride but proof of age is required. Let's go and play some Pictionary, shall we, mate? Looking forward to it. Crystal Palace is our next London derby and every time we've met the Eagles in the Premier League, it has been a draw. So, what Christmas game do you draw? Pictionary, of course. Now, we can't play this in my house because I'm an only child, I've got no girlfriend, and mum and dad don't really like me and don't want to play with me. So I'm going to play with you lot instead because it's Christmas party and it's my rules. Go on, bud, yeah. Thanks, mate. <laughs> Cheers. Um, I've realised how short I look <laughs> next to all of you. I'm um, oh, didn't think about the guest selection, <laughs> did we? Really annoying. Right, me and Nathan are going to go together against the Oldens, Carly and Marcus. Erin is going to be on the clock, Sam Forrest is going to be on the booze and also keeping scores. You guys can go first, you've got 45 seconds, then the other one has got to guess as many as possible. Marcus as many is going to... As many as possible, wow. Yeah, well, that is All right. literally how you win things. Um, cool. So Marcus, you're going to draw first. Erin, get ready on the clock. Sam, put the glass down and get the pen ready. Three, two, oh one, gosh. go. Sharpish. That's easy. Santa. Another name. Snowman. You can't talk. <laughs> Santa, another name. This is another one. Christmas tree. Mm -hmm. So you got one, yeah? So you're not getting the first one. <laughs> what is the first one? Oh. <laughs> what? What's <laughs> up Oh, yeah. Here <laughs> Again, be careful. I know that. Yeah. Uh, oh, I know Stockings. what that is. Stockings. Oh, some of these things are football related. I didn't say that. Shin pads. It's time. I don't think they get, they don't get shin what pads. What is two? Look, we've got, no, oh, come on. They can't just have one, they give them two. Nah, shin, I've got shin pads in time. Got, don't don't be like that. We got that. Right. <laughs> some things are football ones, not just that is oh, a football ones. Okay, cool, Chris. This one's doing me off here, hasn't it? Yeah. I thought they were earrings. I thought it was earrings. Yeah. Earrings. I thought it was a Christmas stocking. The arrows that indicate where you're looking at it. Also, what is that? Yeah, what is that? I need to know. Confirmation. Looks like a bald Santa Claus. I said Santa. Was that actually the thing, bald Santa Claus? No, it was for Christmas. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Useless, right, Nath, we're up. Erin, get the clock ready. Sam, if you can still see, get on the scores, mate. Three, two, one, let's go. Come on, mate. Box. Present. Christmas present. Uh, <laughs> Taking it. Uh, <laughs> you're a headmaster. Uh, <laughs> Candy cane. Two. Penalty spot. We are smashing it. Unlucky. <laughs> Star. Mm -hmm. Snowflake. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hair. Santa Claus. Gaffer. Oh, well, it's Thomas Frank. Will you allowed that? You can't have no. them. <laughs> 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 the rules, man. It's not as good as hat. That's why oh. I put a hat on. Like, what do you think that was? Erin, <laughs> <laughs> oh. you're in charge here. Do we get a point for. No. Okay, we're not. Thank you, Erin. Well done, Erin. Let's Aaron. throw it down. <laughs> I think you'd be breaking. All right, well, we got, we're still winning 3 1. Don't right. worry about it. I'll take that. That was yeah. all right. No, no, you did really well. Yeah, well done. Thanks, mate. Appreciate right. it. Very formal. <laughs> <laughs> Is that it? Cheers, mate. No, no you're again. next. You're next. Yeah, you're I'm just about I'm to say. Carly, just. Don't worry, I've got this. Listen, I'm going to be sharp. Let's get that focus. Go, 3 2 1. I know what that is. Tinsel. Christmas tree. Holly. 
<laughs> nice thing. I love it. Set <laughs> <laughs> <Better> a trend. <laughs> Man, no, come on. Uh, what is stocking? That? I know what it is. Got it. I can't. Hangman. Mm. <laughs> Nathan's really good at guessing, so I think we're going to smash this. Think about it. Yeah. I cannot That's see. That's an one. easy one. That's <laughs> <laughs> an easy Elf. one. Yes. Nice. Free all. I was going to call the player's name. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Slate. Is that right? Yeah. Time. Ah, Four, three, right. Oh, we only need two. Oh, we need two. We've got this. I this is easy. This. No, no, give me the pen. That give one, though, one of mine, can I just say, is a disgrace, whoever wrote this. <laughs> Think outside the box with what I'm drawing. I might not draw hey, it. Hey, 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 I might not draw it literally. No Why wouldn't coaching, you draw it literally? Because no it might help. Think of, I'm gonna do it in a more no coaching, I'm gonna do it in a more catchphrase oh, style. Erin, stop. No, I don't I'm not gonna catch please. Just think just say what you see. All right. All right. I think it will help. That's another game show, mate. <laughs> no, but I think it's going to help. Right. Forestieri scores. Erin on the clock. Three, two, one. Easy. Football. No. Oh. Snowman. Yes. I've gone too big, I've realised. <laughs> <laughs> I've run out of space. Uh, a car? No. A uh, reindeer? No. And then... Why are you talking? Oh. No, no, right. It's... No, I don't, don't take two. Pictionary. Oh, uh, ham. Mm. Uh, turkey. In the. Uh, uh, hey, 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 he's talking. Next one, next one, man. I don't know what you're drawing. <laughs> Snow. No. Uh, uh, rain. What? Rain. Uh, clouds. I Reindeer. Yes! <laughs> What? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> rain. <laughs> rain. What are you doing? Rain, and then I was going to draw a deer. What? Oh, that is that? a pig in a blanket. Then I drew the pig in the blanket wow. there. Oh, right. there. Where's the blanket? This is a good Well, the blanket was that. By the way, <laughs> Erin told me to do that. The Aaron. blanket was the scribble that you scribbled out. It does, it does look, look like a pig. Does that look like a rain there? Yeah. yeah that's, that one that's, lost me. Yeah. That's rain. It's quite literal, that. I said, I said, <laughs> it was yeah, up Where's the deer character? Character? Well, I hadn't got time to do the deer bit. What have you done for the deer? I was struggling with that bit. I realised I went too this big is, on that. This is valuable insight to what goes in your head. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> got that. Why did you do the snowman so big? <laughs> it's not <laughs> very <laughs> Got well excited with the three ex footballers <laughs> playing a game that. at Christmas. No, I have no I idea what the score is. Is that a draw? No, What's the draw. score? We won it. I think it's a draw. No, we won, no? Six, five. Two. No. no. The scores are in, we've won six, wait, six what, five. Wait, we didn't, did we not get the, sa the Santa one? What one was that? When he drew Santa and said it was surely. What? You've got to get that same no, person. You... It's the same person, though. No, Aaron, it's, Aaron. Aaron. it's the same. Erin said no. Said no. <laughs> Santa and Father Just Christmas are the it. same people. Just accept same it. Same person, even. Oh, same my party, <laughs> my party, we won. Well done, Nathan. Uh, yeah, bring it in, mate. Well done. Really done. Uh, Unbelievable. Right, we're going to go back to the bar if Sam's not drunk it dry. Come on. Let's go. Wow. <laughs> We talk about some football matches coming up. Nathan on the 27th. We've got the first in a trilogy of games against your old club, Wolves. Looking forward to catching up with some old friends. Yeah, yeah, made a good few friends there. Um, no, it'll be a good game. They're a good team. They've had a good start to the season, haven't they? So, it'll be fun. Listen, we're at home, so I fancy our chances a bit more, obviously. But now, good to catch up with a few of the lads. Is it weird? We've got three of them games in quick succession. Like literally that, then the FA Cup yeah. game, then away. It's, yeah, it's like, like, it's like playing, playing for them again, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, thankfully you're playing for us now these days. Um, Marcus, this is a London Derby's special, of course. That's what Pre-Match Pint is about these days. Um, so we're going to leave the Midlands, bring it back to the capital. We're back to your old stomping ground, Sellhurst Park. Mm -hmm. Of course, played there for Wimbledon. Um, we play there on New Year's Eve Eve against Crystal Palace. Why do we always draw against that football team? I'm not sure, because when you look at both, both squads, there's tons of goals in, in, inside both of them and it's just remarkable that no one has got the sort of end product to go and win the match. They've been good games but it's just like the final third, everyone's trying to you know, stop the opposition from scoring for both sides obviously and that's why they're draws but yeah I'm just a bit surprised but it could be a, another Premier League record if we happen to draw again. Yeah. Well hopefully we don't. No, hopefully we win. Yeah. So I think we will say, you should say hopefully we win, not we hopefully we win. don't, because it might assist you. We won't say that in the Arsenal coloured top as well. So. Mate, it's not right. Anyway, <laughs> moving on. Um, Marcus mentioned some of like kind of they've got a lot of flair players like Eze, Elise, so lovely to watch. Carly, like 
looking back, I know it's a while ago in your <laughs> when you Not played. that long. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, you played at right back quite a lot as well in your career. When yeah. you're one v one against someone like that. How do you defend them? I think it's not easy. I think for me, when I, when I was younger and I still had knees left and whatever else, I, I would back myself to go to go one v one. But I think the, the way the games change now, and the way you know a lot of the, they like to roll inside, it's not often they go down the line all the time. So I think it's about marshalling them and keeping you know, areas of the pitch compact and trying to almost preempt what the next thing they're going to do is, so you can you can be almost prepared in that sense. And I think if you can if you can limit the space that they have to, to go and create or to go and to go and do something. And I think you give yourself a good chance at limiting so what they do. So you'd be trying to push and leave, keep them outside? Yeah, yeah, ultimately. And I think, like I said, I think for me it's about can you arrive there early, give yourself a chance to put some real pressure on and then can you marshal them into another area where you might be able to double up or get some help from a teammate to, to limit what they're able to do. Nathan, in, in these games, we've seen Hades a lot of time play one up front, lone striker. When we're in a free, how does that compare to when we were in a two for you when you were in those positions? Is it you man mark in the three in the middle and then the two you pass on? Or? Yeah, I guess I think it depends on where on the pitch you are as well. If you're deep and you're probably not man marking, you're probably in a position, structure, you know, cover the areas. But when you're higher up in the pitch and we're going for a press, in a three, usually the centre would take the striker. And then the two outside would be a bit more aggressive and go real tight to someone. But in a four, obviously, there's a lot more you can't you don't have that much freedom you know what I mean so then you're more of a structure you know you're, you're probably more zonal around the striker you get me you're probably just like watching them but in the tree for me I think there's a lot more freedom on the ball as well so you, you can go drive through a bit and then a four is a lot more structure to it what did you always prefer playing because Marcus at the end they moved you with the back to the back as well they <laughs> moved me to the back I helped the club out. <laughs> <laughs> what did you guys what do you guys prefer I, I started off as, a, as playing in a three and then it went into a, a four. Um, I, p I preferred playing in the three because there was more license for me to go forward. It suited my sort of natural game. Carly? Yeah, I, to be fair, later on in my career, I preferred playing in the three because I, I wanted to get forward and try and create. I mean, I didn't create much other than probably panic for all the, for the other well, players. Well, we, we keep referring way. to it. You scored against Brentford, popped your groin. Yeah. We've all been there, mate. Uh, yeah, yeah. We've I remember when you there. done that as well with your left foot <laughs> past the five yards. <laughs> <laughs> you also played against one of the... Like, these, uh, every now and then, like, it's... You played with one of our current squad, which is madness, Chris. Yeah. yeah. And you I played. Don't know why it's so mad? Though. <laughs> I don't know. It... Chris Adric Chris played with Chris oh, Adric, yeah, Kilmarnock. Kilmarnock. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Look how funny you are, Chris. Chris played with me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, he talks about it a lot as well. Was, he, he, was he number ten then? Because he, uh, he moved to Celtic as a number ten. Yeah. No, nah, he was. He came alone, <laughs> and he was. Yeah, he played as a centre half. <laughs> He done a, let's just say he done a lot of defending next yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, year. You played with Jeffrey Schlupp, who's yep. at Palace. He was on loan with us. Yeah, yeah, he was. Yeah, played with, played with Jeff. Um, yeah, he was. He was a really good lad. He was. He was a striker then when he came. His, his position's changed a bit. That sounds like you weren't having him back in the day. <laughs> <laughs> good lad, he was a striker back then. <laughs> he, listen, he, he's changed his game nah. and, and he's, he's had nah, a he's, fantastic he won a Premier career. League. He won anyway. a Premier League, so <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if I could be saying that. <laughs> you know, yeah, I mean, who am I even to say any of this to any of you? <laughs> I've come for everyone here. <laughs> exactly. um, look, the other thing about playing Palace, people talking about the atmosphere. Nathan, you've played there. The Homesdale behind that goal. As fans, obviously, when we're there, we, we see it and we hear it, and obviously we try and make as much noise in the away end as well. But do you do you guys pick up on that when you go to certain grounds? And like, how, does it have any effect? Fair. That's one of the only grounds where I've like real noticed it and just consistently with it. Like through the whole match, they're always going. To be fair to them, like where a lot of other grounds, they have stop start. You know, they have their moment where it's loud. But Palace, they're always on it. They're always there. They're always shouting, screaming, and and they're so close to you. That's where it gets you, you know, they're so close to the pitch, they're right in near you. That's yeah. the hardest part, and they're in your ear, and any little mistake, they'll be on you. So, yeah, yeah. you know, the atmosphere is class, but it's a tough place to go to. You just need to make sure I'm not in that away end and match yeah, it. Louder. And just be louder. Yeah, they probably will be. They're class, aren't they? Right, I'd always like ending on a prediction from you, the ambassador, Marcus Gale. How do you see this one going on New Year's Eve Eve? 2 1 Brentford. 2 1 Brentford. Yeah. Yeah, I can't ask Nathan, obviously, because you're going to say... <laughs> yeah. I'm not be, Yeah. <laughs> Carly, do you want to throw one in there? I'll throw one in there. I'm going to go... I'm going to go 3-1 Brentford. Yeah, 3-1 Brentford. Yeah. Well, I'll be in that away end, local to me, just around the corner, so if anyone wants to come around, pre or post, 
I'll be there. Um, I won't be there. Everyone's welcome. You won't, oh. I won't be at your mate, <laughs> Okay, no. anyway, well, I think that's probably a good time to move on and wrap it up, <laughs> shall we? Look, the guys are going to sign this lovely Christmas card of the first team squad. We're then going to leave this behind the bar at the one over the eight. If you're here for the Wolves game on the 27th and you go to the bar and say the password, pre-match pint, the first person to do so will take home that Christmas card signed by the three wise men. That's it for pretty much point. Cheers everyone and Merry Christmas. Cheers, um, Merry Christmas. Before we go, um, Carly's going to sing us out with a Christmas song. Oh, am I? Take it away, oh, Carly. Oh, Carly. <laughs> See you later. Uh, what Christmas <laughs> song are we going for? I'll take the quest. What do we want? Mariah Carey. <laughs> <laughs> All I want for Christmas is you. There you go. What a man. <laughs> <laughs> what a man. <laughs> I'm trying to think of the words. That's what I'm trying to do. <laughs>